guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Royal Amber Grey from Amazon Anthony Marmin. So I did receive it as a sample with my previous order and it's in this little box here. So I'm just going to show you what the sample looks like. So that is the sample, you've got the name on there and then it's just a small, just a little bottle with a bit of the fragrance inside. So as you can see, the oil is quite thick, um, so that itself just represents how amazing this quality is. So just to give you some background information, um, the Royal Ambergris is actually a limited edition fragrance. It was launched just this month, so in January 2022. You can purchase 6 mils for approximately £81, and some of you might think that that's a bit expensive, but it's very, very good quality, and the oil itself is quite thick, as you can see. Um, so that just proves how natural this fragrance is. This fragrance is actually um, from the Fashion Collection Limited Editions from Maze and Anthony Marmin, where the only limit was the creativity. The creator of this fragrance, so um, Anthony Marmin, wanted to create a new main ambergris composition where rose would be a main note as well. This fragrance though, the Royal Ambergris, is the first step um, for a future perfume the house is going to create, but I'm not going to disclose the name of that fragrance just yet because I want to leave you guys in suspense, but do watch out for that coming soon. I don't have a time frame on when that will be released, um, but this fragrance, the Royal Ambergris, is the first step in creating that next fragrance, so do look out for that coming. So the top notes in the Royal Ambergris are Tafe Rose and Honey, the mid notes are Ambergris, Indian Rose, Woody Notes, and the base notes are Smoky Oud. So when you first apply this to your skin, it's very it's a very warm Middle Eastern scent. It reminds me of the traditional shops in the Middle East. You know, as soon as you walk in, you feel this type of scent. You actually get the smokiness um, at first with hints of rose, which then becomes stronger as the minutes pass. But it's quite well balanced. It's actually quite a popular scent in Asian countries like India and Pakistan. But this particular fragrance is a limited edition, as I mentioned at the start from the amazing um, Anthony Marmin house. It's definitely worth trying um, because, as I said, it was just launched this month in the new year and I, I know that this is a popular scent in Asian countries, so definitely worth trying this out if you are interested in like the rosy type of um, oudi fragrances. So 10 minutes later, when you first apply this, um, the scent becomes a pure rose scent with light honey in the background, but I wouldn't call this a scent with a sweet smell because of the honey. I think the honey actually mixes quite well with the rose, um, but the rose is definitely more dominant. So I tried this on my skin. Um, I wouldn't recommend applying oil fragrances on light coloured clothes for obvious reasons. Obviously, it might leave a bit of a stain. Um, skin is always preferred with these type of fragrances, but on my skin, this scent projected really, really well. I could smell the scent with every hand movement and so could the people around me. Overall, this scent lasts 5 hours on my skin, which is really, really good. But of course, it always depends on your skin chemistry, how well a fragrance will perform on your skin. Um, if you do try it out on dark coloured clothes, it lasts approximately 7 hours with fairly average projection. After this, if you take your nose to it, you can still smell where you've applied the fragrance. I think it's suitable for when and women um, from mid-20s onwards. It depends on the type of occasion or what time of day that you want to wear this, but it's most definitely suitable for day and night wear office wear, school runs, shopping, you know, you name it. It's a very um, likeable scent and you can wear it anywhere. I also think it's a year-round scent um, and suitable for all seasons. So that is the Royal Ambergris um, by Mason Anthony Marmin. It is a very rosy uh, scent which starts off with a bit of smokiness at the start. You do get light hints of honey throughout its fragrance journey and also light bits of smokiness still somewhere sitting in the background as the journey progresses through the hours. It's definitely a common Middle Eastern scent if you ask me and one that's quite famous in the Asian countries. So definitely worth trying this out. Um, if you don't want to purchase the full bottle, you can always purchase a tester from the amazing Anthony Wamin shop or website. They do have a shop in Dubai and they've got one in Birmingham as well if you're in the UK and you want to try it out. And it is a limited edition, so if you do want to try it out, then make sure you get to it quickly. So that is the um, Royal Ambergris. If you do have any questions, then please do drop it in the comments box below. Otherwise, thank you for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you.